Hey everyone, ShapeBear1000 here. Today, tonight, it's kind of almost 11 o'clock. Uh, we've got our our little fireplace quit working. But it's got power to the switch, but it has no power after the switch. The heat does not kick on, and the flames or anything, you know, doesn't kick on so I'm not sure what's going on in here I don't know if it's a fuse if it's this panel I don't even know if I can get this panel this may be one of them things to where uh, we have one here this one works but it's wider than this and you know this way and it's thinner this way if I can't fix this I'll just strip it down and get what what I can out of it and you know to reuse on other projects and then I'll just fabricate this into this fireplace <clears throat> this was free I got it like five years ago four or five years ago uh, I think I did a video on it but anyway so uh, I got a table set up here <laughs> my tripod and we're going to take this out. This is not screwed in. They're supposed to be screwed in, but this one never was when this was given to me. So I'm just going to pull that out and we're going to set it up here on the table. And we're going to take it apart, see what we can do with it. Pretty dusty, of course, but it's been in there for four or five years, so. Alright. Now, let's kind of check this out. Um, I see some little screws up here. I see some screws in the back. They're just Phillips screws and some cobwebs. I don't like that. All right, let me get you set down here. Um, I don't know if I can take this front off to get to that right away or what. So let me study it a little bit and I'll bring you back when we get ready to take this thing apart. Okay guys, so this thing is a 2011. I've seen it on the back. I didn't know this comes out, but it's handy. There's three bulbs down here. Got some ants on this table. It was outside sitting underneath the tree. So I'm not sure. A couple screws there to take this off, it looks like. I'm not sure. Screw under there, screw under there. Um, let's go ahead, let's set this down forwards. Let's take this back off. Because I know sometimes it would make a little noise from that thing that spins inside there. I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a minute. Uh, wasn't too bad but it would still get annoying we'll take our little magnetic thing set it over there for screws 
I'll take this out. Uh, yeah, this should work. Um, still haven't charged this thing. <laughs> Let's set it up here. I did bring a regular screwdriver in case I got to break them loose first. Add some little short ones. Actually, I probably just use my regular screwdriver. So I don't overdo that little tiny thing. They're so short. There's some on the sides here. Yeah, just uh, we had it running one night and uh, turned it off for her mom because it did get cold got down to the 30s and uh, next morning monkey said fireplace quit working so it's been hot it's, it's hot right now Alexa what's the temperature Thank you. You are so very welcome. So, it's supposed to be nice this this week and then get cold again next week. So I just want to make sure. Like I said, we got the other one there. Monkey had that one when we got together. But we're just going to see if we can fix this. So it's not a necessity. It's a Febo flow. Or Febo Flame, F-E-B-O-F-L-A-M-E. -E. Now this, this is what turns. I don't know what you guys are seeing. I didn't have my screen flipped. So this is what turns. Okay, and it gives the illumination of makes it look like the fire is what I'm trying to say I guess um, this is the the heater blower up here there is a fuse here I'm going to take a look at it It'd be nice if it was just a fuse um, but let's see where's the switch the switch is right there but I do see a fuse. Let me show you the fuse here. Right there's the fuse. So I'm going to see if I can pop that out of there. And see see what amp it is and see if I got one that'll work in there if it's bad I don't know but like I said everything else is not working so hopefully it's not in that that thing down there because I'm not gonna put put any money in this you know so uh, let me see if I can get the screw out of here okay I said screw but I meant fuse I got my continuity here we're gonna check and see if this fuse is good this way it should read all zeros if it's good. Cause see if I touch these together, see it'll come up all zeros. So that's what should happen if I touch this fuse. It the fuse looks good, but okay, so alright, so that could be a bad fuse. I may have to unsolder that. Let me 
look at it a little closer and let's see. Okay, so in order to get this board out of here, there's four plastic pins that go through. And like here's one here. You gotta squeeze them together to push them pins out. So I'm gonna grab a little pair of needle nose pliers and I'm gonna to try to push them out. Those ones down there are gonna be hard to get to. Way down in there. I know this is dirty and cobwebby guys, but look under your fridge. <laughs> so um I could probably test that, but see I don't know what blew the fuse. It may just be because it's you know 12 years old. Um I could probably test it by putting a jumper across there. I don't know if I want to do that. But I don't know how I'm gonna get these ones out down here because they're way down in there. So um I'd like to get that board out of there. I could let me see if I got a fuse like that. I could uh like lay it on top there and try it. I don't know. Let me do some checking here. Okay, so I popped this side loose and I'm gonna just twist this one. Cause I'm gonna have to solder a new one in there. And there it is. Let's see if we can see what size this is. Looks like 15 amp. That's 250 volts. <laughs> That's not 250 volts. 15 amp. Um, but if you look inside there, I don't know if the camera can pick it up. But there's a little wire like running through it. See it right there down the center from left to right. Um, but apparently it's not main contact. I don't have one that short. But I do have a, a glass style fuse. It's 15 amp. I don't know what blew it. It is a little dark right there. Maybe just time. But let me see if I know I got a 15. But let me see if I got any short ones. I'll show you what I mean about that. So if I touch this together, it's simulating a fuse. Should go to zero. So we've got this fuse here that looks good on the inside. But if I touch them two together like that nothing now if I take my good one right there immediately jumps to zero this is a 15 amp like I said it's longer than this other fuse A longer fuse I thought I had some short ones but I guess I don't but I think I gotta solder that anyway I think I can make that work in there I believe I've got enough room it's gonna go right in here so I could probably extend that wire each side and uh, Maybe put it right there or something. I don't know. Okay, let's uh, let me study that some more. What was you guys saying? You know, move that out some up here out of the way. Extend that piece of wire. I might try that. Uh, let me see what I got. I got to get out my soldering iron anyway. So we'll see what we can do with that. Okay, guys. Uh, for some reason, I wasn't recording. But, let me show you what I did. I took the little pieces of wire out of there. Come on. Kind of tiny. Um, I did find a piece that will fit in that hole. It's just a spring out of a... Uh, out of an old flashlight. Just a spring. Uh, so what I'm going to try to do 
is I'm going to try to use this. I'm going to straighten it out. I'm going to cut it off where I need it to be. Hate doing things twice, but I didn't hit record. Um, and I'm going to put this up here out of the way. So that's good that this is this is a little bit thicker, but that's good because it's going to be longer. Um, this light here, Monkey got for my birthday years ago, and I had it up in the attic when I was putting in the fan, the exhaust fan up there, and um, well, it stayed up there for a couple years. Uh, I brought it down. Now, I must have shut it off before I came down, but I came down and everything was working. I didn't want to go back up, and she had this little lantern that I left up there, a little lantern type thing, and uh, it stayed up there a couple years. I brought this down, and this turned on. So, but anyway, it's just a, it's a crafting, handy little light, little magnetic thing. No, oh, you can't see that there. But, so... As you can see, it's a little dark around this area here. So I'm going to try to reflow whatever that is. It still feels tight. So I might not even mess with it. I might reflow that bottom one. I don't know. Um, I don't want to mess around with it too much because, you know, my soldering iron's not the greatest. So. Let me get this wire straightened out and cut off where I need it to be and I'll bring you back when I try to solder this back on. Okay, that was a pain. I don't know how much you saw of that. But it's on there nice and solid. No, it's not. Okay, let me see if I got something different that that will stick to. Okay, guys, so let's see if I can get this piece of wire soldered onto there. Get some flux on there. Okay, make sure I hit record. Got my little wire here. I'm going to dip it in the flux. I don't know if I can get this. Get it to stick to this piece of wire. I've cleaned it. Sticking to the metal on the fuse, but it's not sticking to this wire. I may have to see if I can find a piece of copper. I'd rather use steel though. Might have got it that time. Might be a pain when I go to put it on the board though. No. Doesn't help I can't hold it steady. Nope. Just not sticking to that piece of wire. Alright. Let me try something else. Okay guys, here we go again. <laughs> I got another piece of wire. I found some wire this time that is the exact same size. So you're looking down on top of this fuse that I've got standing up on its end. Tend this tip a little bit. It's not doing nothing. But it's hot. 
man. Kind of a pain here. Let me see if I can come up with something. Okay, let's try one of my new alligator clips here. And I've left this plugged in the whole time, but what it does, it gets up to a certain temperature, then it cools down, then it takes forever to heat back up. But that's the way they used to do them back in the day. Okay, let that get cooled down. And I'll do the other side off camera since you've already saw this one done. Okay, so there's that one. Now I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Uh, let me get a little bit of flux on here. And I'm going to let it cool down a minute too because it's still pretty hot. I don't want to crack the glass. Okay, so let me get that soldering on there and then we'll try to put it up here in the board that's going to be kind of a pain so let me see what I can do here let me show you what I got here there 15 amp fuse so if this takes care of the problem or a couple of these fuses they're not very much I don't think you can order just one but I had a bunch of these I don't know what happened to them so I do use them so what we'll do is if this works then I'll just order me up a couple fuses and then uh and put the right fuse in that way I'll have a couple extra just in case so let's go ahead and try to get this uh, soldered on here and I'm kind of in your way guys but and that one should hold it while I can get get some more flux here yeah, and then, then all I got to do is order a couple of them fuses. Because I'm sure, because we've got two more of these things, and they, I'm sure they'll take the same fuse. Come on. You know, so. And I'll have them. Okay, so now what we're going to do I'm going to plug this in but I'm going to I've got to get down in there and get these uh, pieces of uh, Uh, solder down in the bottom of there I'll get them out and I'll put this back in them holes where it was we'll plug it in and if it works then I'll order some fuses if not I got a bunch of cool parts here so let me get that solder down out of the bottom of that drip down in there okay let's steam this up <coughs> excuse me Take this cord and I'm going to plug it in behind you. Yeah, it'll reach. Okay. Let's see what happens here, guys. Yeah, can't get that plugged in. All right. Okay, didn't I see the lights on? There we go. They're dimming. Okay, that's what it was, just a fuse. So 
so I can get a fuse and like I said I'm sure the other ones take the same style of fuses and uh, there we go I don't know if you can see the lights on it. Yeah, you can see that. Okay, let's see what happens when we hit heat. And it's working. You guys see that? That's heat low. Cool. That's heater off. That's the lights off. All right. Yeah, cool. All right, so all I gotta do, order some fuses. There we go. I spent almost two hours, about two and a half hours looking for the right fuse because I know I had them and I had a couple the right length but <clears throat> one was 3 amp and one was 1 amp and of course that takes a 15 amp and it's, it, like I said it's funny because inside there I can see I can see the the actual fuse itself a little wire inside there the little it's not really a filament but there's a little wire inside there that I can see so it must be up here on the end somewhere where it's broke so anyway yeah so that's pretty cool so that is a success it is a fix well I don't know it's not I mean it's working I just don't want to leave that that fuse in there just simply because it's not the right one so once I get the right one, then I'll put the fuse, in, the original style fuse that goes in it. So yeah, let me go ahead and get the uh, the sides and the the screws down the sides and get that back panel on, and I'll be back with you. So I think I knew I know why it blew that fuse. I got a whole bunch of dust out of up in here where the heater is, where the fan is. I got a whole bunch of dust out of there. So you know, of course, it was heating up, but it couldn't cool itself off. So I think that's what it was. And I can tell a big difference the way it's blowing out right now. So yeah, I think that's what it was. Cool. Okay guys, so to me that's a successful fix. You know what the problem is. Um, I could probably use that fuse in there forever, but I want to put the right one in. I found them online on Amazon for uh, $8.50 for 10 of them. So that's probably the route I'll go. That's plus shipping. but So you're looking at about a buck a piece. But like I said, I got two more of these that take the same style fuse and I have another electric heater in the garage um, it takes the same style fuse too so you know that'll be fine <clears throat> um, yeah it works another success 
<laughs> so anyway guys I appreciate you watching put my little little screwdriver thing away here love that thing and um, stay tuned for more videos and fun times <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm out of here for now. It's 2.30. Monkey had to come out and nib nose and see how I was doing. And so she's happy that we got to, got to figure out what's wrong with it. So like I said, we still got, to, got the other one there in case it gets cold until I can get them fuses. Uh, if I had to, I, could, I, I wouldn't have a problem with using this. It's not a big deal to me. But... Uh, so we do have the extra one there. We used it the other night and it did all right. And uh, this one's 1500 watts. I'm not sure what the other one is. This one's 1500 watts. So uh, usually like below 700 watts. I think it's like a five amp fuse. And then uh, like to a thousand watt. And then anything over. I think it's a thousand watt I think they jump up to like 13 amp that one I know is a 15 amp so and it's 1500 watt so that thing really kicks out some heat so I mean it'll keep this whole front of this house and her mom's bedroom warm uh, with no problem so yeah that's what we'll do still working <laughs> We'll see you guy. We'll see you guys in the next one. I'm getting tired. I'll get this video edited. We'll do some more fun stuff here shortly. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Bye bye, guys, and take care.